to show you this here. So I finally found a half dollar. Unfortunately, it's not, it's not silver, but it does give a 32, 33 reading. So that is, that's a pretty good find. That's a first half dollar for me actually, but too bad it's not silver. Maybe the next hole. Uh, I know Ryan's finding some stuff down there, but he hasn't quite called me yet, but you know, I'm sure we'll get there. We got my little helper. All right, getting getting called over here by Ryan. Got, says he's got a Indian tone and a pull tab next to each other. He uses the he uses the AT Pro. Sorry about that awesome camera shot there. Okay, guys, I'm not down all that deep, all right. but I just pulled this little bit here. See what you got there, buddy. And if I flip it over, hey, look at that. Got a little piece of there's jewelry. There's a stone, and it looks like there's some more around the edge. I'm going to be careful with this. I think it'd be best to brush it off, but that's going to be a nice piece of history. There you are. I'm going to brush this one off camera. Uh, get that out of, out of here. <laughs> Got to get the uh, Plugmaster Ford brushes. I think you can get them like $5.99 on Amazon, something like that. It's something. It's got a nice little stone on it. This is going to be tough to clean. <laughs> there she is. It's yet to be determined on time period of that, but it's uh, it's gold plated, gold plated miscellaneous something. <laughs> so, and uh, we got a a good luck charm over here. Uh oh, I may not want to get that on camera. <laughs> got got ourselves right, a big guys, toad here. That bit all cleaned up. I really have no idea what I found here. Probably some sort of a wind chime maybe I don't know but it's it's a it's a piece of aluminum it was definitely hung up by that chain uh, I'm right on the front porch here let me show you I'm right on the front porch here so it's just off the just off the porch so not sure what it is I'm not even sure if I'm gonna make it into the video with this one but I'll try to figure out what it is so neat little relic see you on the next hole all right, guys, this was a shallow one. I actually didn't live dig it because I didn't quite know what I was going to find. However, I believe that I just got a th sterling thimble. You got my bucket lister. Is that a bucket list here for That's you? That's mine. My number one. It's a size five. Oh, man, and it is in good shape, too. There's one little dent on this side here. I guarantee with the way this is cleaning up that that's sterling. Oh, there's so, no doubt about it. So I, I don't think uh, I don't think I'm gonna get it any better than this, but oh yeah, we got ourselves oh, a sterling thimble. Yeah, that's a nice. All right, guys, find. we'll see you on the next good find. I was gonna say something about this tree here. I was thinking about it as I went around. If you look, this tree's been dead for a while. Uh, I think most likely a cottonwood, judging by the bark. But uh, as you can see, my uh, my gloves are right there next to my plug. Uh, you want to look for these old trees when you get in these yards because, you know, chances are somebody was just sitting there underneath of this tree back in the day sewing and had to get up and leave and forgot their thimble. So, but what a, what an absolutely gorgeous house. Uh, the owner was, owner was a guy, great guy as well. And uh, so is, uh, so is Josie the dog over there. All right, I'm getting called over here again by Ryan. Said he's got, got a buckle. So the fellow that used to live here, the original owner was named John Cayley, and we believe that he used to be a shoemaker. It was funny enough, because Ryan on the way over here actually said, I hope I find a shoe buckle. Found a piece of a colonial one in New Jersey, but... Yeah, he, he did some hunting over in New Jersey and found a found a colonial so piece. The dog so the see what just we got obliterated here. my plug, but in the process, he <laughs> revealed this beautiful old iron buckle. There you go. It's in pretty good shape. So, Could be a shoe buckle. I know the it, owner makes it a better shot the, when you got dog owner. tails in the background. Yeah, I know the original <laughs> owner of this place was a shoemaker, so could be from that. Let's take a look at that guy. Anyway, we'll see uh -oh. what else we can get. Oh, good thing we got a metal detector. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll take it. Yeah, dude, that's cool. That's cool. I don't know okay, if that's a shoe buckle. Have... That might actually be a. Uh, I was thinking like a that might be like a small piece sack. of horse ta horse, horse tack, tack or yeah something off a leather sack maybe yeah 
that's a that's louder. a pretty neat find. Yeah, I'll take so. it. You know, yeah. now that I think of it, because this that's probably the carriage house. There you go, buddy. I wouldn't doubt that this is horse stack. You know, this might be a piece off a of fancy bridle or something. <laughs> that could be. That'd be pretty neat to find it that out. Be. I'm excited about this one here. Ryan went up to a house. It was another farmhouse out there. It was absolutely beautiful. And a uh, lady said, no, I don't want you hunting here, but I have this house over here that you can go take a look. It's up for sale. Go have fun. So this is her. Uh, we, we got a little bit of a sneak peek of the yard already, and I'm, we had some fun finding some stuff out here. So I'll, uh, let's, let's cut to the first clip and uh, Hopefully we keep finding more. All right. First first find of the new permission here. You got him right here. Let's see if I can clean that up. I caught, brought the spray bottle, so let's give it a shot here. See what we can find here. Got a weedy. Already saw the design on the back. Whole thing was full of junk, so that's why I didn't bring you in live on that one. But hey, 1916D. I am not. It looks like I got it's a 46. I finally got that little little guy to show, but 46D. So, all right. We'll see you on the next hole. We're down here in the curb strip right now. So, see you soon. All right. I just got a good find here. Uh, so my, my my detector was telling me it was probably closer to like. Four inches down or so, so I ended up splitting the splitting it because it was right on the surface. I almost left it because it was so shallow, but I got kind of a glimpse on the side. But look at that on the back. Oh yeah, that is an Indian. Oh yeah, that could right, turn out to be a pretty nice one. That could be. Let's give it a little juice here. Everybody else has got a special spray name. I ought to rename mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's coming out. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's a nice looking green one. One cent. Oh, we got, got for a, a year. Got a big ding on the other side. I don't Might know. What do you think? The lawnmower. My, uh, my wheat's got a nice little ding in it, too. Holy smokes. Apparently, the ants just came alive here. They were guarding your Indian. They were. Come on, be something stupid. Oh, that's so green. So green underneath there. I would wipe that on my pants here. 18. Oh, that's going to be an old one. 1896. Mind if I take a look at that? Yeah. Yeah, go that's ahead. That's a good looking one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. It is 1896. Now it's time to hunt this yard a little bit harder, I think. Yeah. We haven't found so, much in this yard. But what a gorgeous house, a though, nice too. nice little coin there. All right. Let's see what else we All can right. get. I don't know. There might be something else. Let's check it out. All right, here we go again. Ryan's called me over. I think he finally got a good find. Oh, uh, that's a nice clean wipe too. So you used the AT something. Pro. What what numbers were you seeing, Ryan? 1900 on the dot. It was ringing 76 for me. 76. All right. Just a really solid zinc penny tone. Let's see what we got here. One cent. It's gonna be a nice one. Let's see what you got. Let's see what else we can get. Oh yeah. yeah I think you're I think you're right. 1900. Yeah, 1900 on the dot. That's a beauty. Yeah. That's fine, man. Thank you. Let's find another one. Oh yeah, I'm down for that. So one weedy for you. One, one weedy, weedy for me. me. One weedy, yeah. One Indian for me. One Indian for you. I, I called it. 78 Jefferson. <laughs> there, yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, let's. Find of the day. I'm All right, let's nickel, let's keep though. moving on. Golly, look at the detail on that on that yeah, house. That is just gorgeous. Um, all right, yeah. all right. Time back to the hunt. Back yeah. to the hunt. Here we go. Ryan just found his second weedy, and then not even five five minutes later, got mine as well. Clean him up a little bit here so we can 
1936. Ryan, what year was yours? 34. 30, 34. Okay, I just got a 36. <laughs> yeah. 1936. All right, what? here we go. I got another, got another weedy. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit here on camera. We've got a little bit of a fan crowd around, so hopefully the background noise isn't too awful here. But. Oh, uh, what do we got? Nineteen forty-six D. So, so there we go. We'll get him cleaned up and get you a better picture. All right, I'm gonna take a picture of this. It was right on the surface. Now, hopefully, you can see that there. I got the GoPro going, so I got this tiny little screen, but. Cool two piecer though. You got a back mark or anything like that? Hmm. No, not really. Just a. Looks like it had some gold gilts in the front at one point. That's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, it's got something. It's got something. I don't know. Cool. If I find anything super cool about it, I'll fill you back in. So. All right. Here we go. That's a good one. In. Okay. All right, guys, so I, I don't know what I have quite yet, but I am. So Tom is swiping over this. He's got a Getting 35. Getting a 34. 34, 35. Uh, it's a melted piece of lead. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Alright, I feel like this one might be worth a live dig here. If you can see, we've got a... Uh-oh, I think we found what we're looking for here. We got a copper pipe. All right, moving on.